Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you guys and gals are doing well today. About to get started here with the ECL match day two contest from division one with 82nd AD versus core. Both teams have populated the server right now. I think we're just waiting on one or two more core players, actually four more. I mean, it is 2.30 core. What are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, we'll be getting started very shortly though. I know the timer has counted down to zero. Today we are playing on Karen Tan. Let me know in the chat what you guys want to see in terms of layouts for this one. I'd love to see a canal crossing. Um, I love the start of canal crossing. I love the submarine tactics, the artillery, uh, mainly for the axis side, which we'll be casting from today. We're going to be on the side of 82 AD and they've been kind enough to provide us with three POVs today. Uh, we have favorite list in the tank. We have Kolstad as infantry. We also have Thorpey, a uh, last minute addition to the roster here. He, uh, he has very busy schedule. So uh, I wasn't expecting to play in this one, but managed to get home in time for this one. So I'm very, uh, you know, glad that he could make it very, uh, gracious, you know, of him to, to bless us with his presence here. Um, it should be a really good POV too. Let's be honest. Thorpey is cracked when it comes to, uh, Hell at loose. Really enjoyed his stream last time he did a POV, POV for us on, I think it was squad line battles. Uh, that time he graced the top of the leaderboard in terms of takedowns. We'll see if he can do something the same today. Uh, I think really in terms of points, like canal crossing provides a very nice opportunity for 82nd AD to, to make something of this start of this one. Uh, we've seen core on the allies on canal crossing have some trouble with uh i think it was a greyhounds match at the start lux plays they had a lot of problems with the lux very aggressive greyhounds lux at the start um unfortunately greyhounds couldn't keep that up and after they lost the lux they kind of lost uh, it fizzled out on the north side i'm sure core will be on point with their artillery at the start though trying to prevent anything from getting to that midpoint whether or not it's canal crossing or town center now if we get the rail yard as the midpoint uh, it's a little harder to prevent there because there's a lot more ways into the point i think town center and canal crossing you really know exactly where the enemy is going to come from you know they're either coming on the north side on canal crossing in the water there's only two real spots where you can go there um or on the the promenade or on the center street so you know you can easily with the three artillery guns um have a steady flow of shells going to those points town center i think is even easier um, you have that one main road that's coming in from the backside uh, and then you have, you know, some ancillary routes on the north and south. Very easy to just plug up that backside, though, if you're the uh, if you're the allies. And same thing kind of goes for the axis. I think the axis have a little bit of a, a worse shot on town center with the artillery, but uh, you can easily, again, plug that back door entrance. So we'll see what the midpoint is i think in terms of entertainment value canal crossing is probably the top uh and then town center and then we'd have to say rail at the bottom uh, for tanks you know maybe they would like the uh the, the rail there's a little more space down there they're not really stuck in um in uh kind of lanes when it comes to the 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 town side or even the north side of canal crossing there uh, town center yeah tanks are super stuck uh they, they don't have much much place to go you have to be very careful on a tank in town center if you if you're maneuvering um and then of course we have the hill mount hale down on the south side of the map that really is an advantage for the the axis i'd say uh however i mean if we do get mount hale and the axis do lose it they're gonna be in big trouble because that is very hard to take back uh, in my what year or so of casting here competitive hella loose it's i've seen it maybe once happen and that's coming off the back of a great you know solo plane and rice bombing run so we will see what we're gonna get we're a few minutes over this 230 start we're about four minutes over core finally has 50 players and the map is going to be changed here so we're going to take a quick break on the channel but when we come back it will be Core versus 82nd AD here on Karen Tan. Uh, hope everyone enjoys this one. I know I surely will. 
Be right back and then we'll have the match start. Hello, 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 and welcome everyone here to match day two of the ECL with 82nd AD versus Core on Carrington. We have Town Center as the midpoint today. This should be a really good map. Let's take a look at the map for the 82nd AD rollout here. Uh, expect artillery dropping on the backside of point. Uh, from what we can see, though, we have two. Transport trucks going north side with a light tank, two-man light tank, a three-man light tank coming straight down the middle. Nobody else down that middle, though. They want to avoid artillery. On the south side, we have another transport truck and the medium tank coming down with Victrix, uh, Norquez, and Ginger Scott. We have a POV of the northern... Well, we have a POV of one of these tanks. I thought we would have... Uh, favorite list in the tank people there he is okay so he is right there coming straight down the middle to town center um for right now though on the core side we can see deployment starting on the south side can't quite pick out anybody coming to the middle just yet there we go artillery hasn't started firing yet oh there's the first artillery that's going to clear a few out of that first core squad there Second shot does not get in. Important thing to see if the squad lead is down or still up. Blue tear there. You can see they're coming through the backside, that core squad. 82nd AD starting off this one with a little bit of cap progress. No, it looks like nobody but Blue tear made it in. Wow. A 
advantage to 82nd ad on the start of this one getting good lands on their artillery uh blue to the only one from court making it to point right here Luther, while being alone, winning his first two 1v1s there on point. Let's go on board with favorite list, pulling up in the locks onto point. All right, stop taking this. Toast. Move, move. Take a right turn. Actually, hold. Delay. Delay. Yeah, that's killing. Okay, left. On the left side. Go left. Yeah, go left. We're going to block that alley. Move up. Third gear. Blast. Artillery not connecting with either piece of armor here. Both pieces of armor still up. And this is going to be an 82nd AD 3-2 off the start here on Carentan. Wow. I bet nobody expected that, uh, including myself. But it is the 3-2 here for 82nd AD. Now, what can they do to hold on to this lead? Thorpey is in a very in a very advanced position over here. I uh, wonder what he's going to be able to do. No, nothing, unfortunately. I don't know if he got a satchel off or not. I don't see any... Fuse on that satchel. He's very, very close. Oh, he did. He did get the satchel off. That Stuart is going to be in trouble. I don't know if anybody pinged the Stuart. That satchel is right there. Now, is it is it close enough to take out the core squad in the building too? I'm not too sure, but that Stuart right on top of the satchel here is going to go down just like that. Thorpey with a nice play to get that satchel down and to take out the Stuart. That's going to relieve some pressure on the backside here from 82nd ad now of course core still very very much so putting the pressure on but a, a great start pretty much the dream start here if you are the european team now looking at the map let's see what the next points are for this one we have runes and 50 seconds start here so it's going to be a tough one close point though to uh to the midpoint here for 82nd ad not a long way to go but there's going to be a lot of angry germans uh between them and the next point in terms of POVs, of course, today we have Kolstad, Thorpey, and uh, Favoritless. So we saw Favoritless there. Thorpey's POV, of course, he put that little satchel off. And uh, we can see Kolstad on the midpoint right now. Uh, the Lux getting very bold on the north side here. Going to go down. I believe that that could have been Bommel. There might be a tank here also. Uh, from the allies can't quite see one on the cam right now but that lux does finally go down here so both teams losing light tanks there you can see a medium on point here from 82nd ad reinforcing this midpoint blue tear cali john uh all getting ready for a push onto point here that's rough right into that smoke and right into a lot of members of 82nd ad cali john gonna get a takedown there Goes down to capital kill, gets traded back. Crow Dog versus Blue Tear on the right side. Blue Tear going to win that one. Uh, he does get dropped again. So trading takedowns here on the way into point. That's not going to be the key to this one. Core need to open up another front here, whether it's on the north or the south side. Looking at the north side, 82nd AD doing a good job to hold for this moment. Uh, however, if Core can get around to the church on the bottom left side of your screen, uh, they should be able to get a second little attack avenue to point. Now, uh, 82nd AD did reinforce with a, a Lux up there, so looking good for now. On the south side, though, Zoom has made it to the midpoint here. Uh, Fingus going to be looking to cut this off. If Zoom can get control over here on the south, that would be a, a really good place to kickstart an attack from um, on to point. But so far, so good here for 82nd AD. Uh, let's check the map quickly again to see. No, they don't have anybody going for 
for that next point on runes. They're going to need to put some pressure onto runes there and relieve some from the midpoint here at some point. Otherwise, all, this core pressure is going to be really hard to hold. Zoom making a little bit of an advance down here. Has position against the 82nd AD squad. Now it's, a, it's essentially a 1v5 though, Zoom. Going to have a very tough time holding onto this spot without some backup. Fingus over the wall with a good flank. Oh, Ooh, that was a little sketchy for a second there. Uh, good recovery from Fingus there to get the takedown onto Zoom. Back onto the midpoint here. It looks like the north side is getting pressured immensely here. Core finding a little way through, not all the way on the north, down to the, uh, more like down to the church here now. Uh, Banshee's here. In a very good spot. No, Banshee goes down. And Artillery strikes on the backside. Core has an opening right here, but I don't think they have position uh, to really push. Yeah, JP, only one there. TRAA, it's, it's really up to getting those squad leads out there. If they can get a squad lead in position, uh, then they can really start that push. Now, Jarvin Hill on the backside looking pretty good here. And oh, hold the phone. Uh, Core Medium's taking some shots right now. It is in a little bit of of a of a pickle. Now, Gold Dragon, Rising Valhalla, and Lenny peeking that Panzer IV. I don't exactly know what they were peeking because it is very smoky here on point. What a position for this 82nd AD tank, though, uh, to be in. Look at that. There's so much cover there. No damage onto that tank. They are looking good. Uh, we're actually seeing a little bit of pressure onto the fourth point of core here bombing run goes down for the defending axis team and what are they using the pressure onto runes is it just bodies and it looks like it's just frontline bodies right now if we if we check the map we can see yeah, i'm not too sure what that was they're airheading pretty far back over here though um don't know if anybody from core has spotted this one out yet well, I think it looks like uh, Schnarchy has. It's too bad there's no recon over here from 82nd AD to protect it. I think there will be one, at least one spawn wave. But if a few secondary squad leads can deploy, I mean, they should be able to get some nice position back here on runes. Ooh, Squealer very close in here. Uh, that was... That was assumed. Squealer looking up and around to see if he can find it. He's not going to see it there. There it is. Is he going to wait for the spawn wave to come in? No, no nonsense. Takes out the bazooka. Oh, he's going to wait for the spawn wave. Squealer. Oh, he wants to get 20 kills right here. Waiting for the spawn to come in. Squealer from core. Let's go on the POV. Still waiting for the spawns. The long waiting game right here. 82nd AD might see that it's overrun and, and it's just like, hey, yeah, they're camping it. They're waiting. They're waiting to get a takedown here. Cahoots is the brave soul that goes down on it. Unfortunately, he gets taken out right away by Squealer. A little uh, style points there from the core team. I mean, if that had been 30 guys, that would have been pretty funny to see, though. Uh, on the middle point again, yeah, 82nd ADU doing a good, good job to clear out the north side. However, Willie on the backside has found position and, and enough position to get a takedown here. Uh, looks like the Panzer IV has been replaced by a Panther or, or, or supported by a Panther here on the midpoint. Uh, the south side is still contested here. Willie really, really the only one on the backside here for core. I uh, wonder if we could maybe get a POV here. Thorpe on the south. We have him. Kolstad is holding with an MG on point. Uh, and then uh, favorite list is chilling in the middle with a, uh, sorry, a Panther here. We could go check out the Panther and see what they're, what they're checking out right now. Hold it here. Hold it here. First gear engaged. Uh, we're bouncing. Make a stable. We're bumping. bumping. Hold. Reversed. Engaged. Sorry, I have to. They were pissing me off. 
he didn't die from that? Christ. Not medium. Okay, splash HE in there. Oh, look where the medium is at the south. He's trying to flank us. I know, I know. Yeah, that one was That's easy. not a medium, that's a uh, heavy. Did they really? Yeah, they did just do that. Did they really? Willie on the backside from Core is the lone member of Core here. However, he does get an OP on the backside before going down to Mike Lawrence. Woof Adu trying to push front line here for Core. As it looks like, what is that? The Panzer IV going down? Something exploded back here. No? I don't know what that was. Uh, Woof Adu trying to push through. There is some wire here. You can see front line wire. Core trying to force the way on the backside here. They're going to have to satchel through this. You can see blue tier coming up for the satchel right now. Kurt goes down too. So blue tier is going to be going for the satchel. Core is going to be going for the play right here. Will this Panther pull forward and, and throw an HE down the, down the side? That's to be seen here. But expect a timing attack soon coming from Core up the alley, at least from Woof Adu's squad. Checking back in with the map here. Yeah, very defensive posture. There's a little bit uh, maybe from Popcorn on the north side to attack, but nothing else so far from him. Uh, this satchel is going to be trouble here for 82nd AD if it takes out the wire. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, the satchel misplaced there. Blue Tier does not take down the wire and is not able to push the point. Oh, that's a misplay there from Blue Tear. Unfortunately, on the south side, though, looking very strong from core. Let's check out the north really quick before we zoom down there. So, yeah, 82nd AD falling back a little bit on this north side here. You can see uh, Oni, Icarus, JP, and Dorbian making some progress here. There is a medium tank here, Gold Dragon, Rising Valhalla. Did they get the takedown on a Panzer IV? No, looks like they're still up for now, taking a lot of shots. So, Gore trying to force the issue on this north side here. However, it's not working out too well. Panzer IV comes up flank on that medium tank however he's stuck on a car right now he's gonna have to rotate a little more that medium though is pushing his way to the mid cap right now i wonder if we'll see a rotation from the panther yes we will panther is coming in however medium does not make it down goes that medium tank there uh via satchel on the south you can see that core did have position fingus and tange getting you know a little bit surrounded here you can see on that south side core making some good progress getting around the south really trying to suffocate the south side of this map here uh that's looking like it might be a few minutes before that comes to fruition on the back side bombing run from core coming down onto point honestly you're gonna thread its way right through the middle of point here i don't think this is oh yeah one gets one takedown okay panther is a little worse for wear right now too so one key takedown there from core but is it, it's not going to be enough nobody's really in position to take advantage uh looking on the back side also that wire is still up here would core go for a crazy airhead into the back here no not not gonna work just putting smoke out trying to get some cover for uh possibly putting another satchel but you know what nobody's up to do that now cali john is making a push in right now uh 82nd ad also throwing their medium behind here don't know why or what they thought they were going to get with that. Uh, if we look to the right here, we can see that 76. Um, 82nd AD, though, did. While I was looking to the right here, they did get a deploy. Now, where is that deployment? Looks like they're right there. Thorpey on point. Going up against Dimmy. Thorpey winning that gunfight. We have a POV from him, by the way. Let's go on board and watch that with a little bit of a delay. Uh, 82nd AD Thorpey. I got shot from the same uh, street. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, 
Watch your NLP. Cross your player. Guy on me, guy on me, help me. AD second AD, you're gonna have to be quick about this one because the north and south flanks are yielding results right now. Para on the backside, 82nd AD is essentially stuck in the middle here. We're seeing a airhead onto point. Where is this airhead gonna land? Right in the side here. So Core trying to do a sneaky airhead onto point. Uh, they are actually gonna try to airhead there. Now, does anyone able to get a nade off onto that one? Honestly, with the course position right now, it's only a matter of time before they start that cap progress up again, especially if they can get some artillery on this north side garrison here uh, from 82nd AD. I think that'll allow Core as a whole to push in and start to cap on this midpoint. 82nd AD on the attack. We saw Thorpe there momentarily. They do have some decent positions right here. You can see Thorpe and Adamov here. Only one squad, though. They need a second squad right on point. If they could airhead this and get some more bodies, then they'd really be pressing cap here. Um, it's not a whole bad position for 82nd AD. However, I think Core's position on the mid is much more, uh, much better, you know. But Core just have not been able to crack that nut. We'll see if Crusader might be able to. He's pushing in now. Can he clear off that Gary? Taking some shots in there. I think once the Panther is taken out, that's really when it'll start to uh, fall apart here on the defensive for 82nd AD. But for now, they're holding on. You know, and, and having this position on runes will allow, uh, will, will force some core to fall back to defend, right? So I love this. Now, they just need to get more bodies than Thorpe and Adam of on point. Let's go back on. Well, actually, I was going to say go back on with Thorpe. He goes down there. Respawn's coming in from court. It's unfortunate 82nd not able to get the position on point. Uh, oh, the Panther going down on the backside. Combo AT from that Southern group coming in to take it out. Not looking good here for 82nd AD. Losing their tank on point. Core has mostly got control of the backside. Uh, oddly enough, there is no cap progress for either team right now. Both cap progress falling back to zero here. 82nd really going to need to get another uh, tank onto point right here. That Panther was suppressing the front force. Ooh, Crusader on the garrison. Going to look to take it down. This might be the beginning of the end as he does get it. Second time's a charm there uh, for Crusader getting the takedown on point two. And that kicks off the cap progress here for Core as they look to take a 3-2 lead into this one. Uh, took them about 23 minutes to do so. Bombing run coming in. Unfortunately, goes the wrong way there. Defensive bombing run. Uh, nobody except for the first two bodies drop there. 82nd AD picks the wrong way for that bombing run to go. And now we're up to 50% cap progress. One OP, one hero OP remains. Oh no. Not in the best spot though. You can see uh, Blurb gonna be the last one standing. He gets taken out with prejudice from Cali John and the window. And that is going to be the three, two here for core. Really well played from 82nd, and honestly, I feel like they had an opening. If they hadn't had used the airhead earlier, I don't know if they had a uh, timing for an airhead, but imagine an airhead on top of Thorpe there when he had position on point. I mean, that could have been a game changer here. Really could have taken us to a 4-1. Unfortunately, 82nd just could not get that second squad uh, onto the attack. Only had two or three. Very easy for the defensive squad to just outpop them, stop the cap and keep everybody on this uh, on this midpoint here for core but you know positive signs if you're 82nd ad taking a point off a of court at the start uh holding it for you know uh, almost almost 30 minutes almost taking that second point getting cap progress very positive signs if you are 82nd ad uh now though core has the midpoint uh let's check and see the next point. So we have Mount Hale. Uh, we're already seeing some cap progress there from Core. What are what position are they in? Oh, Crusader 
Zoom, oh my gosh, this is not looking good. Already with the frontline garrison up. Zoom on point over here. Pony trying to do something to stop it. Good position here on the OPs. Cat progress coming out. Pony gets the takedown onto Zoom. Now he's going to know. He's going to know exactly uh, where uh, those are. Path through the back. Pony gets another takedown. However, he trades with Hoompa Poomple. And there is nobody here on the fourth point for 82nd AD. Oh, so unfortunate. They did such a good job. It would have been hilarious to see them build some, like, barbed wire back here. Could you imagine barbed wire? Two barbed wire on the backside of this to deny the ability for, for an OP. Uh, not going to be the case, though. There is nobody here from... 82nd AD defending core have complete control over Mount Hale and ah, man after such a good start there core are in the driver's seat to take the 4-1 onto this one uh there is a weird okay so it's a half track coming out I thought it almost was a medium for a second from uh, the Americans no that's going to be a half track looking desperately to get on the point here uh Ginger Knockers and Victrix Anorkas, sorry, coming out to Mount Hale with the Panther, trying to do something. Let's go on board uh, to see what they can muster here. And unfortunately, it's going to be 4-1. Uh, 82nd AD making some cap progress back on the midpoint. It's too little too late, though. Core already set up on the fourth uh, for an easy 4-1 for them. momentary stopping of cap progress while the panther gets on point however he's not going to be able to stop everything as the uh allied at takes down the panther there and down it goes rotating back you can see the redeploys coming in nice is already on the back side here lucky gummy nice getting pushed by jam captain black and popcorn lucky gummy getting a few frags there Holding the water angle. Nice going to fall back to try and help out his compatriot there. Nice doing a little dance in the wheat field. He's going to have to patch himself up. Core already putting pressure on this fifth point here for 82nd AD. You can see the defensive line, not really a line, more of a grouping. 82nd need to spread out and get into these canals here if they want to really hold Core off and and they need to do something to get back on Mount Hale. It's going to be very hard. Mount Hale is wide open, right? So it'll be very hard for them to get out. Let's go on board with the next Panther. We have the favorite list POV as he pushes into the open field here. Let's see what it looks like from his perspective. They just dropped more supplies on the front. Oh, tank blew up. Negative. Well, actually, yeah. Keep pushing down to our friendlies. There's a canal in front of us. We are going to get whacked by, uh, yeah, use the road. We're going to get whacked by the tanks when, once they push on up from uh, Mount Hale, so it's such a strong position. Push into their houses. On ping we go ro actually here, ping right. Too late I know, but... You want me to stop here or to keep going? Keep crossing the bridge here. Push on the left here. Cross something.
front to point, front to point. Am I free to fire? Free to fire, yes. You wanna go a bit to the left on the edge of the map or? We are going to do that, yeah, but keep pushing for this first. Copy that. AG is loaded, by the way. How's it going? I am start going left. It's friendly recon tank. And front towards 290. After the truck here. Don't squash the friendly. And hold. Shoot. Oh, oh. <coughs> That's an AT gun. Shoot. Good job. Reverse is engaged. Reverse. Reverse. Straight reverse, no turning. And hold. Reverse, reverse is engaged. Yeah, perfect. We need to wait for infantry. We're too far front. Someone is shooting just here on the yeah, other side yeah, of the yeah, 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 82nd AD not able to pull forces up to support this Panther who's just pounding away on point right now. Zoom holding down the flank very nicely here, uh, preventing any infantry from really coming up and supporting this Panther and, and utilizing its power on point here to, to kickstart an attack. Now, Panzer IV coming up to support also. A core getting positioned, though, on the north side of your screen here. Uh, this Panther... Need some support from infantry soon, otherwise uh, they're going to get overrun fairly quickly. Checking out the map, we can see here flanking attack going to come out from Gem. Uh, you can see on the bottom here. Oh, well, spoke too soon. That Panther stayed in one spot for too long, and he goes down to the bombing of the mosquitoes oh it's just you feel for 82nd ad they stayed too long there they have position now here comes the big bad core 76 to clean up only has a uh a, a puma and a panzer four so shouldn't be too hard here for the 76 first target's going to be that puma on the back side and down he goes so one of three or two of three down The Panzer IV, good decision from him to get into cover. Might be too little too late here. Oh, that Panzer IV is still not in cover. 76 might just have a shot. Unfortunately here for the Axis, their best uh, tool to get back into this one is down. They, they stayed way too long, overstayed there. Uh, didn't move it around enough. And have got caught out by that. There, the bright side here is there's some infantry pushing. The the negative side of that is it's no squad leads. So effectively only only regular infantry that have run through the field to get there. So they're not going to be too combat effective on point. We'll wait to see if Gem can get through with his uh, with his half track. If not, I mean you can see the the noose is already closing here the door is shutting on this 82nd ad game uh, 56 minutes to go they have to hold this midpoint here otherwise court is just going to start to bully them uh getting control of the hq and getting control of all these canals to start pushing in key one is right here with popcorn uh if if court can get this position and control it'd be very hard for 82nd ad to come back into this one uh looking back onto point here though good space set up here Core already starting to push down the trenches. You can see Humpa Pumpa pushing onto Capital right now. Capital standing his ground there. On the other side, we also see Godsend uh, with position in this trench trying to push out. Ooh, nice artillery there. That's going to give Godsend position. Panzer IV taking fire from the opposite side here. And down he goes, getting taken out. Or maybe trading even with a core tank yes trading here 
with a core medium. So medium for medium here, you can see the bent barrel of the core medium. However, I think at this point, the fuel really uh, is much more necessary here for 82nd AD as they are on the back foot. Now that helped Godsend get a little further ahead. However, they haven't managed to get to the next hedgerow here. If 82nd AD can keep core kind of in their position here, I think it bodes well for them. Don't want to let them get into this next river system, canal system here and get position on the house. Uh, that'll be very, very bad for the defenders on this one. Uh, looking at core side on Mount Hale, very hard to take back if you are the Axis. Um, nothing here in the ways of attack. Recon, no position for them. Uh, looks like, oh, 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 gem on the backside. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, this is beautiful to see. He has managed to work his way around all the way to the backside of point right here. Does he go closer? Does Spieler know about this? Is there going to be an airhead coming down? Gem trying to decide what to do right now. Uh, is he going to drop a bombing run and pull a fast one in here with the timing? What do you have in mind? What is going on right now in the head of Gem? The 82nd AD commander with a half track play up the back of point right here. Hopefully nobody from core hears or sees this. It would be awesome with a diversion airhead or something to come up though. He's got it in position now on the backside. Gem might just have pulled the play of the game here. We'll see how many can redeploy. Now, 82nd AD does have quite a bit of space to give. They can give up some space here before point and redeploy a lot of bodies onto the back. Uh, the, the question is, can Core defend against those redeploys? Do they have enough assets up here to defend against it? Uh, we will see here as Gem is now in position with the half track. He could potentially quick one, two with an airhead onto town center after two. That would be the play uh, of the week. Definitely. If they can pull it off. It's a big, if though core, very good shooters here, very good at defending and redeploying en masse. If nothing, this buys more time uh, for 82nd AD here. If nothing, cause core is definitely going to have to respond to this. Now 82nd need to redeploy and use that space here. They have. To, to come back you can already see core making progress onto point uh i think the redeploys happened there is nobody there there is everybody from 82nd ad from the back side here are core gonna realize what's up how long is it gonna take them well i think they've realized it now here comes the flood of blue onto point holy smokes this is a lot of bodies here from 82nd ad let's go on board with thorpey as he's one of the first in from the European team, just everybody on the backside. What a what a half track here. Garrison, Garrison. Thorpey, go kill. I'm on the Garrison now. And Jim has done it. The 3 2 back in this game is 82nd AD. What a play there with the half track. Half track going to go down on the backside, it looks like. 
but what a beautiful play there from 82nd AD. Nice timing. They have control over Mount Hale, and they are challenging Town Center. Now, can they pull it off again and get back into this one with a cap onto Town Center? We will see. Let's check the map quickly on this one. Oh my God, Gem. Another, he's taking the same half track and he's gonna put it on Town Center. Can he do it again, Gem? An absolute madman here. I don't know. That half track's a little further away from point on Town Center. I think it needs to be closer to the point here because if 82nd AD rotate everyone off a point, they're gonna be hard pressed to keep this point before they start to cap the next one. Gem with the half track plays though, absolute insanity coming out from the commander of 82nd AD. You can already see that cap progress starting. Gem not in a position to start that cap. That might be the issue here for 82nd AD. They didn't go fast enough. Gem did not park close enough. And now core bearing down on point here. Can, can they stop this, install this a little longer? Jocko on the backside. Can he be looking possibly for a satchel? No, unfortunately he doesn't have the satchel there. Three man crew from core realizes what's up. Bull Dragon pushes for the takedown onto Jocko. And gets it. Gets Tanj too, gets the full squad and wipes the OP. Oh my gosh, Gold Dragon with a huge play there. 30% and climbing cap progress here from core. 82nd AD, you know, props to them. They did a really good job of the pressure with the half track and just a little unfortunate there gem parks a little too far away from point you can see there's a redeploy coming out they're just not getting the cap progress they need right now do they have anybody they can yeet on the point here do they have any tanks they can push on a point uh can they put enough bodies onto this defensive point to stop the cap progress from coming out you can see they're trying to cap race right now it's not going to work out already above 50 percent on the cap of the point 82nd AD try a nice little play gem tries a nice little play however it is only going to be temporary here as core are going to take this one back and go back on to a 4-1 score here oh you feel for gem there it, it feels like if he got a little closer and he just gone straight on to point he might have been able um he might have been able to, to start that cap race a little sooner but just not going to be the case here. Uh, Core going to recover on the backside. Still hats off to Gem for the play in general. It almost worked. It almost worked twice. I feel like if maybe if it had been an airhead, maybe to draw the defenders of that midpoint away and sneak up right onto point, then that would have worked. But it's going to go back to a 4-1 here for Core as they take control of this game once again. But Really, a beautiful half-track play there from Jam. Uh, unfortunately, didn't work out the second time. Uh, they're going to have to redeploy. Jam's going to come back to do it again. Now, popcorn this time. Uh, I wonder. I wonder, will Core keep somebody on the backside here? Will Harald stay on the backside? Surely, Schnarchy will be looking out for this play. Now, they won't get fooled a second time. Uh, here comes the half-track again, though. And unfortunately with that one though, it's it's kind of a mad dash to the fifth point here. Core have now position on the fifth point. Ah, 82nd AK could not keep their position on the fifth point and they might just drop the game from this one. Greyhound coming in. Uh, only squad lead on point right now is Cahoots, Charvin Hill. So yeah, 82nd really lost their position on Maison de Orms. I would have expected them honestly to have better position coming out since Core had to redeploy all those bodies. A little unfortunate there that 82nd didn't use that that maneuver, that cap to strengthen their positions on their fifth point. I would have expected them to fall into the core positions as they fell back, at least left squad leads back to fill those positions and get good OPs up so that crews could rotate back into the position. However, this time they're on a worse footing and it is not looking good for the end of this game for 82nd AD. Uh, another tank going down as it soon as it spawns in here in the main you can see uh, Apologies, that's gonna be an AT gun, but there are there is a few a few bodies here of uh, Panthers going down now What will core bring out of the bag here? Looks like they're bringing a Greyhound back to defend the backside the core definitely leaving a crew back on this backside to defend so I don't think that half track is gonna work a second time you can see it's a little further back here um, from 82nd AD, they're going to leave it a little further back. I think that's too far back, honestly, though, uh, in terms of time. Core right against the wall here, getting pressed very hard. Um, 82nd AD getting pressed very hard here. Uh, deciding against bringing back the Greyhound. Okay, going to shove it right into point. Crusader and Icarus. 
uh, on that one. So Icarus is going to put a frontline OP up. I guess Crusader's just acting kind of as an Uber. Uh, Uber, uh, Uber allies. Uber to point. There you go. 4-1 is the score. 45 minutes to go in this one. Wonder what uh, Kolstad's POV has for us. Let's go on board with the 82nd AD Infantryman as a bombing run comes in. Oh, this could be a, a good bombing run. Oh, just taking out a bunch of bodies. Core going to use that to kickstart their cap on the last point. Para also making a really nice play on the north side of your screen, pushing into that Jarvan Hill OP and getting a few bodies too. Unfortunately, Core, that's not going to work out for them. They do get a little bit of position in the town, but definitely just not enough to take this one outright. 82nd AD really up against the wall right here, though. Oh, I got a headshot. Fucking random headshot there. Sprayed with a... Uh... I need new supplies on the south. Unfortunately, here at 482nd AD, the gambit is not going to work a second time. Haval, Haral, discover the half track play, and down it goes. Par is going to end that one as core. Don't fall for the same trick twice. And now comes the cap progress on the backside from core. They have position. What that bombing run allowed them to do is just get position on the Maison Dorms right now. And now they're pushing hard as they can. I wonder if we're going to see a bombing run from 82nd AD defensively here uh, to maybe try and open up something. I'd love to see an airhead with some with some smoke and some HE. Um, maybe even a bombing run on Mount Halle to try to relieve some pressure. The core definitely making the most out of this opening here on the backside trying to hold this down let's go back on board with kolstad as he uses an mg to try and defend the last point Oh, they're pushing up that road now, Colster behind you. Oh, get away! Jesus. It is just a super meat grind right now on the midpoint. Absolute meat grind here. Very, very hard for infantry to to play without getting shot from a tank or exploded from a grenade. However, Core are making a nice flank here, and this might be the moment where it ends for 82nd AD. Toki, Spieler, Hoompel Poompel get a really nice flank onto this garrison position. Can they take it out, though? Hoompel Poompel might be able to put a satchel down here in the river, but he's just not close enough to get it. Now, if he crawls his way to the edge of the smoke here, he will be. Let's go on board with the Core Assault Man. Oh, gets one with the grease gun there. Very close here. Going for the satchel plant in the river. Oh, has to patch first. This might be it here. The play that wins core of the game. No, Kolstad taking him out there. Kolstad with the takedown. With the MG doing enough to defend here. Let's go on board with Kolstad and watch that one. Someone pushing the uh, garrison.
defensive bombing run drops. It does not do enough. Willie and Dorbian combining for a bunch of takedowns there on the garrison. The last breath here of this 82nd AD team uh, coming in as they try to desperately defend their point here. However, Core are going to take this one 5-0 to win this match. After 82nd AD gave them a little bit of a, a heartache, you know. <laughs> That was a beautiful play by Gem. Unfortunately, not enough. They cannot hold on to this one, and they end up dropping 5-0 here with about 40 minutes to go. GG, well played uh, to both sides there. It was a very good game from, from uh, you know, Core did what Core does, but 82nd AD took the first point. They held it. They made a little cap progress in the fourth. They showed us some, some cheeky plays there with Gem in the half track. Unfortunately, in the end, it just was too much i feel like if they had if they had come into the space uh that core left when they fell back onto the point um 82nd ad would have been better off when before they they made the half track play unfortunately they they tried to be really cheeky go for the three two uh uh lead in the game and i feel like that half track was just too far away from point um maybe if they had immediately airheaded and timed it so the airhead landed right as they took it then that might have been something who knows? We can do what ifs for the rest of the day. Let's take a look at some of the scores here. Uh, 1.4 from Nero's squad, 1.9 from Gold Dragon's tank, and then 1.5 from George Lee's tank there. 1.1k uh, from Icarus. Uh, that's the over 1k scores for Core there. Uh, Jarvan Hill's squad getting a 1k on that one. Uh, nobody else getting above 1k on the 82nd AG team and some of the tanks actually, you know, you can see they've already, they've already left the match right there. Um, but a, a good game overall, some great POVs and, uh, my hat goes off to gem for those sneaky half track plays. Uh, it worked the first time. I don't think the second time, you know, it really didn't work. Havald was back there. Harald was back there. Uh, they expected it. So that half track went down pretty quickly, but you know, GG well played guys. Uh, we're going to be back on the channel tomorrow here with uh htd versus 38th infantry we'll have a few more povs from both teams for that one uh, thank you so much for joining the channel uh of course the vod will be up right away and it will stay here forever on uh on youtube so have a good one guys gg and uh we'll see you tomorrow with 38th infantry versus htd peace